I was just on my buddy's live stream, guys. I apologize. You know, if you watch this video, um, you know, I'm in there like, yeah, I killed it at the flea market. I came home. The woman let me beat that thing up, you know. You got to understand, when you guys first started your channel, during your live streams, we used to get wide the fuck open. But it's cool. We can use my channel and get wide open on this one. Anyway, limited run games. Here we go. Gunvolt Chronicles Luminous Avenger. Um, don't know much about this game. Although I did play the original Gunvolt games on the 3DS and the Nintendo Switch. Um, didn't beat them or anything like that. Although I have beat a couple of the Mega Man X games. These games do play like Mega Man X games. I'm, I'm assuming this one does as well. Um, this is the NT Creates game. If you guys played, um, you know, what's some of the other stuff they did? They did uh, the Circle of the Moon. Um, they did Dragon Mark for Death. They did uh, they did a few games. They, they mainly do like pixel art. And, you know, I love them for the same reasons I love companies like Cave that makes the shooters. You know, they do the pixel art, the 2D sprites, uh, the sprite work. Um, you know, I, I have to say the box art on this thing looks pretty awesome. Um, I mean, look at that. And I use my little switchblade there to kind of pry it open. I'm going to get better with that in 2020, not bending up the boxes on these collector's editions. Because um, every time I try to open it by hand, I bend the box all to hell, especially like right there in the middle. Um, but everything is contained inside. There's a pin in there. Huh. Like a little art pin or something. You know, sometimes when these things are like folded like origami, it is so hard to get them back together. Like there's been a couple of them. It might have been like the Sky of Five or... There was some RPG, I think it was on the PS4, where like the the way the soundtrack and the art book and everything was in there, it was like a folded piece of origami, and there was like no way in hell I could figure out how to put that thing back together. Um, now there's no art book in here, but this does come with a poster, and I mean, look at that. That's a that's a pretty badass poster. You know, I don't know who's the uh, the anime artist that uh, did the artwork for this game, but I, I, I like that. I like anime, and it's funny. My kid, my 14 year old kid. He, uh, he makes fun of anime, he hates it, and you know, my room, like where all my games are, like it's all anime characters and JRPGs, and he, he thinks it's, I guess like to 14 year old kids, like anime's not uh, cool, it's not in vogue. Um, it was in vogue when I was his age, you know, Vampire Hunter D and Macross and you know, all the good anime movies from back in the day we used to love, but anyway, there's the game right there, the soundtrack, and like I said, there was an art pin kind of attached to the case there. Um, you know, I don't know what significance that is, you know, according to the game or anything like that, but yeah, I mean, it's cool if they want to give it to us, but yeah, let's see if this thing comes with a manual, shall we? Take my trusty switchblade and get the plastic off this son of a bitch. All right. Okay. Moment of truth. It ain't, look guys, it ain't feeling good. This game feels pretty light, pretty damn light. There's the box art, spine art. Okay, moment of truth. All right, right on. Okay, right, okay. Well, that doesn't feel doesn't feel okay. Man, that is some straight bullshit right there. Limited run games. What are you doing? Why even? I guess it's better than nothing. But goddamn, I mean, you might you might you might want to get one of those cases that holds two games and put the soundtrack and the game in there if you're gonna do that. I don't know. You know, I don't know. There's reversible, or not reversible, but there's a inner cover art right there. You know, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm not really bitching that hard about a manual. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, you know, but I am almost 40 years old and I do like manuals. I like manuals in my games, but that's Gunvolt Chronicles Luminous Avenger on the PlayStation 4. Now, guys, this is an interesting game. I'm going to try to pronounce this to the best of my ability. Uh, I think it's Narariar no Mango. Um, this is a Arc System Works and Konami game. And it's a fighting game. Uh, interesting fighting game. It's like a platform fighting game that I guess would kind of, it's kind of like Smash Brothers in a way. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. I'll have some footage and throw it up on the screen there. But uh, this is a game I actually ordered on eBay. It was like $8. It's really cheap. Um, you know, look on eBay. You'll see it. It's really cheap. Um, how do you pronounce the, I couldn't tell you. I don't know how to pronounce the title of this. You can see that it's all in Japanese. I don't know. But yeah, Narariar no Mango. Um, 2D fighting game. Uh, pretty awesome game. But the thing with this is like all the menus and everything are in Japanese, so you really have to play with them um, before you get into your first match, and it might be a little bit complicated, which is probably why the game cost $8, but man, is it fun. This is a fun game. Uh, I love the combat engine in this game, although I haven't played it a ton at this point. I, I played it enough where I got my $8 worth out of it already. Um, 
you know, it comes with a manual. It's got, you know, it's all in Japanese, so whatever. Um, you know, I'm sure to, if I sat down with this game for a solid day, I could probably like really get into the mechanics of this game. But, um, you know, I had the internet. I got the internet as a tool, you know, and I could use my phone and I could transcribe the moves list, I guess, to really figure out how to get, uh, you know, deep in this game. But, yeah, I mean, look it up. It's on. The, it's a little bit more expensive on the Xbox 360, but on the PS3, you know, Mario no Mango, good cheap game. Metal Slug 3. Now, the only reason I got this game is there's a retro store in my area or a game store that sells limited run games. They have a contract with them and they sell the games in the store for the same price they cost on the internet. So, you know, Metal Slug 3, even though I own this game on every system known to man, I mean, well, I'm a sucker for this game. Hello, my name's John. I'm an addict. You know, I'm a sucker for this kind of thing. So yeah, Metal Slug 3. Let's see if this thing actually comes with a manual or like Gunbolt Chronicles. It's just a piece of paper with a picture of the game on it oh yeah same thing look at that motherfucker <laughs> isn't that something i mean it's better than nothing but i mean i'd rather have like a soundtrack or something but anyway there's the game some inner inner art which is kind of cool pretty cool i don't really give a shit about the manual honestly i don't care um i mean i, I care a little but it's like i like seeing the manual but yeah metal slug 3 you guys have played this game. Pretty awesome game. All right, guys, I got, where's it at? I got a bag of games. Fucking bag of bullshit. Ugh, I'm gonna try to trade these in. Get something for this stuff. What is this? And the Activision Anthology. Nope. Splashdown, Rod's going wild. This game's decent. This is, uh, what's that, MJR? He always talks about that. See, import PS2 games. Nothing good, though. Shadow of the Beast for the Genesis. This game sucks. It looks like it'd be cool. I bought this game because of the fucking screenshots on the back. It looks cool, right? It looks like some kind of crazy shooter, but no. This game sucks. Some Nintendo games. I don't know. A bag of bullshit. Here. I was going to give this to a buddy of mine, but I'm just going to trade it into the store. If he still wants it, I'll grab another one, but Metal Wolf Chaos XD. I got two copies of this. I don't need to bag of bullshit some genesis games loose carts nintendo what's this f-15 strike eagle this is a flight simulator <laughs> game sucks let's see what we get okay guys so i think i did pretty good i paid him a couple bucks and gave him that bag of games i got four games of course they had more stuff in there i wanted um acrobat mission i looked this game up when i was in there this looks like a pretty cool shooter so you know we'll see next game is this Mega Man game on the DS. $22 for this motherfucker, but I don't know. I looked at the screenshots on the back. It uh looks pretty uh pretty interesting. They had a few different ones of these in there. Guys, I'm at uh Regen, or I went to Regen in the White Marsh Mall in White Marsh, Maryland. So um if you guys like DS games, I got a bunch of good ones in there. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Thunder Spirits for the Super Famicom. 18 bucks. Pretty good price for a shooter, right? And I got a PS2 RPG. I actually played the first game in this series, and I like the sprite work in the game. Uh, during the second one, never played it, but, uh, you know, I saw this, and this isn't something I see every day. So, yeah, pretty good trade here at my uh, local game store today, guys. All right, I found this in the back, like, overflow section of the flea market, but you ready for this, y'all? Bam! Gunstar Heroes on the PS2. Man, this was an excellent find, and I found this in the overflow section in the back of the flea market, so... Awesome, it is complete. It's got its manual and I'm trying to do this with one hand, but disc looks good. I already checked the disc out, but yeah, awesome, awesome find. What's up, guys? Let's talk games for a minute. I'm just going to touch base with everybody. Let me say this I watched Hancock's newest video, I scrolled down to the information and saw he added his uh, Patreon link in there again. So hopefully it doesn't get any worse than that, but it's kind of funny now that Rick's gone, he's going to start doing stuff like that. Hopefully he doesn't start adding all the affiliate links and start showing all kind of crazy stuff. You know, I want to see the man continue to make decent content. So, you know, John, if you're watching this, buddy, you know, don't, don't fall back into your old ways now. Um, yeah, I found some pretty good games this week. You know, uh, work was kind of, it snowed a lot. It was like, I work outside um, a lot of the time. Sometimes I work inside. Um, but it was nasty out all day, so, ugh, God. Um, 
you know, and you know, something I've been thinking about, you know, comment of the day, you know, I spent, you know, the last few months, you know, listening to comment of the day and it was something I look forward to every day. Um, so there's a lot of us in the community that used to contribute to comment of the day. And, you know, I really want to bring comment of the day back, you know, whether it's on somebody else's channel, if, if Rick's going to continue to do it, um, if there's anything I can do to help, um, I would love to, to do something to get comment of the day going, guys. So, you know, um, MBK Silent, Gajillionaire, you know, if any of you guys are watching, we got to figure out a way to get comment of the day going again. Because um, I thought it was something great to look forward to. Uh, it was a way for everybody to voice their opinions and air their grievances and frustrations to the world. And, you know, it, it did make a difference. Uh, we saw it make a difference. I think it was a very impactful tool. Um, we can be tasteful and, and do it in a way that, um, you know, we're not lighting fires everywhere. You know what I mean? So we got guys, we got to figure out a way to get coming of the day up and rolling again. Um, but yeah, had a good week. You know, hopefully you guys have a great week. Um, you know, the weather's starting to get cold again out here. Um, so, you know, I don't know, it's, it's starting to snow and ice on the ground. So guys, be careful for you guys that live on the East Coast, especially when you're going across bridges. Every time I slide my car, it's because I drive across a frozen bridge. Anyway, till next time, guys. Peace out.